Hi, welcome to this TinCore Keymapper demonstration. TinCore is an Android app that can translate actions from input devices into other types of input. For example, button presses from a keyboard into simulated touches on the screen. It's very handy, especially if you want to play games on an Android TV stick, which doesn't have its own screen and therefore can't have any uh, touch input. Uh, before we go on, I should point out that root is required for the app to do its most interesting functions. I'm actually not sure what it can do uh, without root because I, my device was rooted before I even installed this uh, tin core application. Okay, let's get started. I will be using my wireless keyboard Airmos combo device, which is connected via a receiver plugged into the Android stick. Uh, we can activate TinCore by opening the notifications menu and clicking on it. Once its interface is loaded, you just press the keyboard keys that you want to use, and they will appear on the screen as round buttons. So uh, right now I'm, I'm going to turn off the um, mouse function, and I start by pressing the space bar, and you can see it shows up in the middle of the screen there. And next I'll be pressing the keys uh, Z and X and N and M to handle the four buttons uh, of the game. <clears throat> now, once uh, you have all the buttons pressed that you want to use, then the next step is to move these buttons around on the screen to where you want the touches to go. Um, I should point out that uh, besides the start button, I'm really taking guesses here as to where I want things to be placed. It, it would have been a lot easier if I was actually playing the game, so I knew exactly where to place each button. But, um, yeah, as it turns out, this I did a decent job, even though I was guessing for the most part. Now, once you've actually got everything placed, you can see that uh, when the interface is visible, you can press the Save button, and that lets you create a profile for this app this application, this game, and by, uh, by creating multiple profiles with different games then you can switch back and forth between them and each game can have its own settings. Now clicking the check mark is the last step you need to do before the profile has been activated and you can start using your keyboard as, as you had set it up. So you can see I'm pressing the Z key there, the X key, and they are mapping perfectly to the touch inputs and causing the character on screen to uh, do the attacks. Uh, that's pretty much it. It works pretty well as you can see. Uh, you know, TinCore can actually do a lot of other things such as swiping, and they're easy to set up as well, and it can accept input from other devices as well, such as game pads, but I haven't really explored that. Uh, so thanks for watching and hope this has gotten you excited to try the app.